If you've been to a holiday sale recently, you probably noticed that some of the items were marked down by 50%. If you bought the item at full price, then you paid $10 for a $5 item. This is called markdown and it's common in many retail stores. The reason why retailers do this is because they want to sell their merchandise as quickly as possible, so they mark them down to get rid of them. The problem with this is that sometimes customers don't realize how much they are saving when they buy the discounted product. In other words, they think they got a good deal. Let's say that you are buying a television set from a retailer and it's marked down to $100. You see this TV for $50, so you think that you got a good deal. Unfortunately, you're wrong. The television you saw for $50 was not actually $50. It was $25. You're probably thinking that you got a great deal. However, you paid more than what you thought you did. So you go home and start looking around for another TV, but you can't find one for less than $100. What happened? The retailer sold you a $100 TV for $25. This is called markdown fraud. This happens all the time and is not illegal. It's simply dishonest. The retailer is using a tactic called price anchoring. Price anchoring is a psychological phenomenon where people tend to judge a product based on its initial price. When the retailer offers a discount, they anchor the price to something that's already familiar to the customer. In this case, they anchored the price to the original price of the TV. So how do you avoid this? One way is to shop online instead of going to a physical store. There are many websites that offer discounts without marking down the price. Another option is to look for coupons or deals that are available online. Another option is to find a website that sells refurbished products. Refurbished products are returned merchandise that has been repaired and repackaged. These products are usually very cheap. This is a great option if you need a new computer or an electronic device like a digital camera.